So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you, but you're the closest thing to family I've got. And I suppose that's something. Goodbye, auntie. Wherever you are. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Hi there. Uh, hi? So who are you visiting today? What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? I can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. Alright, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's on what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. Why didn't anybody tell me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. You lived here, you'd have seen him. I don't pay attention to things like that. Well, that's not my problem. Listen. I really live here. Fourth floor. Number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes! I have a driver's license. It's upstairs in my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on! This is New York! Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Does it matter? If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. I'll be back. See you around. Hello again. Please, I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Uh, out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 program, Dan. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. Okay. I have no ID and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. 
Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. Sorry? Who is Nish... Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great. Call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her? You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You could look for her there. So let me get- You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there. And if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it, yeah. This is really stupid. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. I'll be back. See you around. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Mm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. Uh, excuse- I can't do it. I just can't barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. All right, here I go. Hello? Um, uh, no. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. I don't think so. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. There. All better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you. The lady next door. Yeah. Hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No. Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. That's a cute dog you've got. Isn't he just? Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, great. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um. Yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? That's the problem, see? He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah. I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Are you alright? I'm fine. I just need to get home. Alright, let's keep walking. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rosangela. She lives here. She does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. 
Had to be sure. Oh, it was no problem at all. Do you want anything else? Milk or orange juice, perhaps? Shall I repaint the building while I'm out here? Um... Never mind. Just get out of my way. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors, after all. Yeah, I guess. Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. Um, it's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rosangela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa if you like. Rosangela is kind of a mouthful, you know? All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Home. Thank God. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. Ugh. Hello? This is Dr. Quentin from Bellevue Hospital. Yes? I was your aunt's primary care physician. Did you receive my letter? Yes, I received it. I haven't had the time to come by, though. That's all right. I'm sure you're busy. However, should you find the time today, my entire schedule is free. Uh, sure. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Good day. If I don't visit him, he's just going to keep on bothering me. I suppose I should get it over with. <laughs> <laughs>